Good morning. Good morning and welcome to the Center for Spiritual Living Midtown. I'm here to remind you that such is the nature of life, that all it asks and all it wants is the opportunity to appear. You are that opportunity. So am I and so it is. Because that is who you are and that is who we know you to be, we welcome you to this place as a full-blown, fully living, fully powerful, empowered, loving, spiritual being. However you name yourself or call yourself in this world, in the world of time and space, whatever identifications and, and groups you connect with, ultimately and finally, we know you to be an expression of the infinite, an expression of God itself. So that you are made of and created of the very best that there is, the only thing there is, which is spirit. You, your life is the result of spirit plus nothing else. And so I invite you to, to sit, sit with this idea and join us this morning as we explore some ideas on what that means and how we live in that space. As we step further and further into the full expression of life as us as God expressing in this time and place. So thank you for being with us. We look forward to, to spending some time with you, perhaps after the celebration as well. So I'd like for you now to listen to a few more words about what we believe and what we stand for as you hear our Declaration of Principles. I believe. I believe. I believe in one God. One absolute power and first cause to all things. I believe that this power is perfect love. And creates out of a desire to express love. I believe all thought is creative and how I choose to think creates my personal experience. I believe in the unity of all life. And the immortality of the individual soul. Forever unfolding. I believe. I believe. I believe in the eternal goodness. The eternal goodness of God. The eternal loving kindness. And the eternal givingness of God to all. And so it is. And so it is. And so it is. And so it is. You can find a, a full version of that written on our website, cslmidtown.org. We also have with our organization, and you just saw some of those folks in that video, people who are known as practitioners. And what that means is these are folks who use this teaching and have manifested a great change in their life. They are also folks who can work with you to change your life or to help you find those, those avenues of change that you're looking for. So today we are going to have one of our practitioners with us. Uh, one of our co-leaders co of the practitioner group, and that is uh, Judy Ailey. So take it away, Judy. All right. Thank you, Bob. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everybody. T today, our theme is celebrating the triumphant journey. You know, and I, I've been thinking about this this week as we move towards Thanksgiving, that, that it is good to pause and to appreciate and celebrate our own growth on the spiritual journey. And I've been noticing that there is no end to this, that no matter what we overcome or what we work on, what we learn, there's always something new, something new to open ourselves up to, something new to learn, some new way of looking at things. There's a level of creativity in stopping along the way to give thanks for what we have been through and how we've landed on the other side. I think we've all had challenging situations in our lives, but we make it through and it is something to celebrate. When we think about these triumphs in our spiritual journey, I think these triumphs are, are gifts that we can share with the world. If we have made it through something difficult, others can benefit from that story and that and that understanding so today i'm giving thanks for the big things that i feel like i've overcome and and learned in my life and also the really small things too 
I'm in a place of great gratitude on my growth on this spiritual journey. And I was thinking about how do I create a greater mental atmosphere of giving thanks and celebration of my journey. And the most clear way that I can think of is to bring my awareness to the spirit in all of life that is around me. That as I do this, I see the good in all things, in all people, in all situations, all circumstances of the world, that I can give thanks and create a strong mental atmosphere of gratitude, which in itself is a strong attractor of good for my life. There was a quote that was particularly meaningful to me from one of the November readings in the 365 Science of Mind book that we're studying each week. And that quote is this, when we recognize the spirit in everything or anyone, or when we give thanks for the spirit in everything or anyone, there is an equal reaction from spirit back to us. And we are made more alive to the divine influx that follows our recognition. So let us take time to recognize the triumphs that we have had on our spiritual journey. Let's take a wide view of it. Let's celebrate these and know that as we do this, we are creating a fine and wonderful mental atmosphere that will attract to us more of the same, greater faith, strong expectations of love, joy, peace, prosperity, and vibrant health, really goodness in all things. And that as we do this and we recognize and acknowledge spirit and the one cause behind it all, that spirit reacts back to us and that we are made more alive through this divine influx of good of every kind. All right, that's those are my thoughts on celebrating the triumphant journey. And so right now I would like to lead us into a spiritual mind treatment or affirmative prayer. Um, and then we'll pass it on to the rest of the service. So if you'll just get comfortable in your seats and relax, close your eyes if you're comfortable or in a place where you can do that and, and allow yourself and your awareness to completely let go of, of any distractions or whatever else that may have been thinking that you may have been thinking about. And I'm going to do this treatment in the first person for myself, but please know that it is for you. Please accept it for yourself. All right. I recognize today and know the one perfect cause behind all of life. This great power that we call spirit, God, universe, all knowing, all good, all good. That this power, this presence is all that there is. And I know that I am completely filled with it. I am completely one with it. I am totally in unity with this oneness, with this good. All parts of me, every cell of my body, all of my thoughts, every part of me is completely one with this power, one with this presence. And as I know my unification with the good, I know that my words and my thoughts are powerful. They are powerful in the creation of my life in the circumstances of my life, in all that happens around me and to me in the world. So today, what I know for myself is I know that as I take a tall and wide view of my spiritual journey, of my journey over these many years of my life, that I see that I have been divinely guided divinely protected, that I have been loved through all of it, that all of my triumphs, all of the good that I have experienced, all of the ways that my life is transformed is just a wonder to me. And I am so grateful. I know that always the truth of me is, 
is that I am never, ever separated from this goodness, that my life is filled with love, and that as I deepen in my understanding of my of how to love myself and how to regard myself well, that this love that I have for myself pours out into others around me, that it allows me to know my heart connection and loving connection with those around me in my life. I also know that I am one with divine mind and that my mind is always open and learning at a deeper level of understanding of the truth of who I am, the reality of who I am in this world, that my the world that I live in, the out picturing of my life is a direct reflection of my mind, what I think about, what I say, the actions that I take. So I take time to look at these and look at them carefully and know that if there are things there that I no longer want or no longer desire in my life, that I can take the time to open myself up to a new and different way of thinking. And that spirit supports me along the way, that we are the outpicturing of God, of goodness in the world, and that this power and this presence only, only desires to express through us in greater and greater ways as love, as vibrant health, as aliveness, as peace, as joy, as goodness of every kind. So today I turn away from any idea that I have ever had that I am poor, lonely, tired, sick, afraid, all of those things. I turn away from those. I turn away from any idea of thinking that happens to me when I look at conflicts in the world, conflicts between people, between different ways of thinking. I turn away from all that. That is simply not the truth. But the truth is that there is one mind, there is one heart, there is one love, there is one unifying principle that we all are connected at the heart level, no matter what the appearance may be. And that spirit, love, this divine energy that can transform anything to the good. Situations that I may think are impossible, that I may think, oh, this is just too hard, too confusing, too divisive. That spirit, as I turn to spirit and know that there is a greater way to see that situation, that there is a love, that there is a healing, that there is a peace, that there is a joy that does and can manifest. So I'm just grateful for knowing this. And as I know this, I just release this, knowing that my life continues to evolve into greater and greater good always. So I release this now with great anticipation of the good that is always coming into my life. So I release this now, and together we say, and so it is. All right, I'll pass it back to Dr. Bob. Or no, actually, music, inspiring music, always the big, good thing.
his life for all his worth. We're talking about the journey deep inside. The different spirit as a guy. But what you believe you can achieve, let go our horses run free. We're talking about the journey deep inside. The different spirit as a guy. Everything you want is already there. Already there. Whatever. For the spirit, for the spirit, your imagination can run free, and you can realize all your dreams. Talk about the journey, talk about the journey. Oh, let the spirit be your guide. 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 Talking about the inward journey. Wow, that's exciting. It's Eddie Watkins Jr. coming to you from Mile High Church in in uh, Denver, Colorado. Thank you for that wonderful rendition. It's good to see our centers around the country and how they're looking and sounding. So what about this triumphant journey? Celebrating the triumphant journey. Celebrating your triumphant journey. I wonder if the word triumphant is it anything you identify with very strongly? It's a kind of old-fashioned word, not one that we use too much anymore. Triumphant. Wow. How interesting. Do you think of yourself as triumphant? Do you think of your journey in life as triumphant? Hmm. When I think of triumphant, oftentimes I think of things like the big Cecil B. DeMille's movies of, the, of past eras with grand parades and entrances through the arc, arc of the or arches of, of triumph in Rome and Greece and all of the various kinds of, of grand spectacles that that was that was being created on screen in those days and these days I think of of uh, hero movies of of superhero movies of people with superhero abilities and actions and things that they know how to do and can do. And that they bring those forward with a real sense of, uh, of triumph at the end. You know, there's always the big parade at the end where all the heroes are, are marched out and, and they get medals and people go to boom, 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 boom. You know, but you don't have to be a superhero to have all that. All you have to do is think a little differently, perhaps, about the way your, your life is going and about the things you're doing. So that, that journey... That journey in is a journey within you and a journey in your life and a journey in your behaviors. Hmm. It's that journey from head to heart that while it may only be a few inches, may seem like many, many miles and many, many years of learning and process to get to. 
it may be that triumphant journey of forgiveness that you've experienced recently with forgiving yourself, perhaps, for some perceived or thought of past ill or wrong, or, or that journey of forgiveness of someone else, perhaps your family member, perhaps a, a, a coming back together between you and, and those who you may have been estranged with. That is a triumphant journey that requires and, re and demands some celebration. Perhaps your journey is simply uh, uh, an achievement in your life on the outside as you've utilized the creative process within you to bring something new into the world, a new business, a new company, a new job, a new, a new increase in your prosperity, a new, a new healthiness in the midst of all of the talk of illness. That's the triumph, and it's the triumph of journey. I can go on and on, and I will for a little bit. Perhaps there's a new self-understanding that you've triumphed and come to see yourself in a greater way, see yourself in a more valuable way, and, and recognize the truth that we talk about all the time, that, that you are a necessary part of the, the infinite and of the world in which we live. It would not be the same without you. There's a great value in that, a great richness. Hopefully you've had the triumph of coming to love yourself more deeply and truly and really. That journey to greater love is a journey to self. It's a journey of, of loving others more fully and freely, perhaps loving your family, your community, the earth, the world, life itself. Last year, shortly, not long after my little episode with the heart, I was saying that it's a triumph to me every day I look outside and realize I'm still above the grass. I mean, that can be a real powerful idea and you can hold it and you learn to love and celebrate every moment of life. Unfortunately, some of us have to be uh, frightened a little bit by the possibility of, of ending life in order to find the joy in that but by gosh it's a triumph when you do and i'm grateful for that in my life hmm. so i invite you give some thought as you've listened to all of this what are the triumphs in your life what is your journey your journey of triumph that we are celebrating today where are you in that and I mean, the other, you can probably always find something that's not very triumphant, but there are, but the problem is that we see those so easily instead of turning to those within us that are so good and rich and wonderful and celebrating them. Hmm. So if you find any discomfort in calling any of it triumphant, hmm. I wonder if anyone ever told you that, that celebrating the good in your life is somehow arrogant or somehow wrong or somehow selfish. There's a huge difference in self-love and selfishness. Selfishness comes from not believing in your own love, not believing in your own value and having to pull it toward you from out there rather than recognizing within you this huge value. Spirit has seen fit to create within itself you that you may show up in the world that is huge huge value that is huge wealth and richness and and to implant within you all of the qualities of spirit that you are i mean think about that god is love god is power god is truth god is creative god is giving god is receiving god is part of all of that and all of that ability, all of that energy, all of that possibility, and all of that fullness is available within you. Ernest Holmes has a wonderful quote, and Judy used part of it in her treatment. I was thrilled to see that. Um, and it goes something like this. I shall not lie to myself anymore, but shall daily speak the truth of my inner soul telling it that it is wonderful. And by inner soul, it means our inner self, our inner reality, the truth of who we are. Yeah. 
that is something wonderful and marvelous and that it is one with the great cause of life, truth, power, and action. Huh, how's that for a good idea? You know, and that quote begins earlier, and I, I stopped it, started in the second part of it. My apologies. The, the first part of it says, I will no longer lie to myself or tell myself I am afraid that there is something wrong with me, that I am somehow poor, sick, weak, or unhappy. Now, those experiences may be going on in your life, but it's putting the I am in front of it that is a problem. Because what you name with the I am is stating what is your essence, what is your truth, what is your whole beingness that, that vibrates with the oneness of life. I am none of those things even if I'm experiencing them, because even in the midst of that experience, underneath and beyond it, I am life, truth, power, action, love, those things. And I'll continue to tell myself going forward. It's a beautiful thought. It's a beautiful idea. So what do we do with that? So how do we celebrate this triumphant journey that we are living? This journey that has peaks and valleys and higher peaks and valleys is never a straight line up because we have so much to learn. And every time we reach a new plateau of learning and, aware and awareness and truth and celebration, there's always a next step. There's always something new to learn. But that doesn't mean it's a backward step. It's just a new challenging step. Our, our place in space and time sometimes invites us to think of it as, as backward, but it's not. So there are kind of three elements. There's a waltz that goes on, a one, two, three waltz called appreciate, celebrate, and demonstrate. Appreciate, celebrate, and demonstrate. Da, 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 da. Appreciate, celebrate, demonstrate, da, da, da. You know, that sort of thing. But get those ideas in your head that every time something is, is happening for you and in you and as you, that is an expression of the divine, that is something that is good and brings greater good into your life and greater good into the world, a greater idea of goodness for others as well. Appreciate that. For every day that you live and do something good for yourself or someone else. Appreciate that. Name it. Think about it. There's a whole practice of gratitude that says, you know, at night before you go to bed, the last thing to do is to, to name those things that you appreciate, that you're grateful for in yourself and in the world around you and in what others perhaps have shared with you. Because as you celebrate that gratitude and you do it in the evening before, before sleep, at sleep you go into your deeper consciousness that's all that's functioning at that point your subconscious mind if you're asleep and that subjective mind or subconscious mind runs your body takes care of all the functions that have to happen it takes care of all the, all of the of the rejuvenation the regrowth this restructure and brings into it those ideas of re-establishing those areas of gratitude in a greater and greater way in your world and then express it, celebrate it, find ways to, to express the joy, to share it with another person. You know, if you share the joyful things going on in your life, most people feel a little lighter and a little happier, and they're able to celebrate with you, however quietly or loudly that may be, whatever ways that you choose to celebrate where you truly are. And, you know, sometimes we, like I said, we're hesitant because we think, well, that's being arrogant or pride, prideful. Not if you're celebrating from your heart, not if you're sharing the, the true joy, the real joy you're feeling about yourself or about something you've accomplished or something someone else has accomplished or something that's going on in the goodness of life that you just see and go, wow. Wow. You know, I was speaking with my family last night and, and my 
grandson's birthday and we were talking over some of the events that have happened in the world and we don't see them all the same way we have different opinions but you know what we love each other and we have found a way now to express our opinions in love and not in anger or wrongness or making anybody wrong but simply standing in our own individual truth and being open to hearing other people in a loving caring way that's a triumph think about that that is a huge triumph i am so grateful for it and i expressed that before i left last night think about it how many families have you heard of are split apart by the current political world situation and just because they disagree how many people have been shot pulled out guns and done things to one another because they disagree it is a triumph in our current world to disagree with kindness to disagree with love to disagree in and support and powerfully seeing the divine in every person Hmm, pretty interesting, huh? I think it is. It was wonderful for me. You see, and the other part of that is we can look at all of this chaos going on and we can look at it as something terrible or we can look at it and say, thank God it's been revealed. I grew up in, in this deep south in the 50s. I saw the horrors of racism up close and personal. And then I saw it disappear. Now we are, are revealing again that those ideas did not disappear, but that they, they are showing up again. And you can name any ism you want to go with that. Uh, because by having it revealed, brought out into the open, those of us who are thinking, praying people know how to pray about it. Those people who are active action people know how to take action on it. And we can we can move through and beyond this these horrible divisions between us. But we can't if we don't recognize them first. If we don't see them up close and personal in our in our faces. That to me is a celebration that that which was hidden is re being revealed. There's been predictions down through the centuries that a time would come when that would be true. When the world would be communicating in a way that would allow the secrets to show up. And whether you're, uh, what, whatever you're thinking is around that. The truth is, it's showing up. And now we can begin to know and think about it. When something terrible happens across the world, we know about it instantly. When something wonderful happens across the world, we know about it instantly. Thanks to our new communications world. And thanks to taking some time now, this last year and a half, to get quieter and slow down and figure out what matters to us and what we want to pay attention to. Those are all triumphant gifts. And they had some darkness associated with them and some difficulty and some struggles, no question about it. But choose to see what is good that's happening without denying the experience of what isn't good that may be happening. And the third part of the dance is demonstrate. You know, a demonstration is, is something that happens in our world around us, something we have done or participated in or brought into reality by our own thought and thinking and changing our thinking, changing our lives, which is a really important part of our, our teaching here. And when you change your thinking and change your life, then something new happens. Well, well the idea here is that out of your, rec out of your appreciation and celebration, Follow the joy, follow the love, and see it begin to even de to demonstrate more and more into the physical world of experience of time and space. And as you see that experience coming forward more and more, and you see more and more happen, you're also pulled toward those demonstrations by those things that are you're discontent about. If you're not content about your current prosperity, you do the treatment, you do the creative thinking, and then you create and demonstrate more prosperity. If you're uncomfortable with your what you think of as your current ill health situation, you get clear about the truth of your health underneath and behind that. And as you do, you find yourself living more and more in a place of health. 
demonstrating. So you appreciate the good that you are and the good that you bring to the world and the good in the world around you. You celebrate that good by expressing it and by, by feeling and really getting clearly the joy of it. And the love involved in it. And then you look forward to demonstrating more of the experiences of that joy and love into the world and as your world. And you take whatever actions you're called to, to help bring that about. As your consciousness shifts and changes, it directs you to the right action to take. See, you have the capacity within you, built in, given to you when life itself was offered. And you said yes on some level and stepped into life in a deeply recognized way. What was given to you at that point was the capacity and ability to see your triumphs, to celebrate your triumphs and to demonstrate more and more. That's why as soon as you reach one level of what feels like a spiritual growth and spiritual solid life, suddenly you get a new chance for another level of spiritual living and life. When you think you know yourself fully, then suddenly something else from within you is revealed that maybe you had forgotten or maybe you just hadn't acknowledged yet and you demonstrate more of that triumphant goodness within you. I encourage you, do the waltz consciously, intentionally, that appreciate, celebrate, and demonstrate. Because this is the life you deserve. Because you're wonderful. So am I. And so it is. So I invite you now to join me, if you will, in a few moments of quiet, of silent meditation as we, not silent meditation, but some guided meditation, as we listen to these words that come to us beautifully from Karen Drucker, one of our licensed musician providers for this organization. Praise my life. I raise my life. In the name of love. I praise the world. I raise the world. In the name of love. I praise the world. With all of its hurt and pain. If we love it, it'll change. I raise my neighbor. I raise my neighbor. In the name of love. I praise my neighbor. I raise my neighbor. In the name of love, I praise my sister, I raise my sister in the name of love. I praise my sister, I raise my sister in the name of love. I praise my brother, I raise my brother in the name of With those ideas in mind, know with me there is one power and only one power. It is infinite mind. It is infinite consciousness. It is God, depending on your words and your thoughts and the way that works for you. For whatever you call it, it's an infinite power that is present in all of us right now and always. It provides to us and through us the qualities of love, of light, of life, of beauty, of joy, of peace, of power. And on and on the list goes according to your feelings and beliefs about it. Those things move through us with ease and grace and therefore I raise and praise in my own thoughts and my own mind the good that is present. I do it now. I make a habit of doing it. I find myself drawn to thinking about it. At the oddest times, by action of this treatment, I shift and change my habitual thinking from 
that of, fa of falling into the negative, falling into the thoughts of, of lack, limitation, division, separation, and all of those, those things. I no longer lie to myself. I tell myself the truth from this point forward that I am an expression of the divine. Therefore, I am love. I am power. I am creative. I am giving. I am free. I am light. Knowing this is so, knowing this is the way I, it goes for me, I let this be. And so it is. Join me now, or, or actually join our group led by our wonderful treasurer, Vance, as he talks to us a little about what it means to support this center so we may continue doing this. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Bob, for that wonderful triumphant being triumphant and in that uh, journey that we have we get this wonderful spiritual teaching that feeds us every week and i know for me i get fed every week um something some little nugget some big nugget um revelation that comes into my life through this and with that i give i give um on a dedicated basis I give on a regular basis and fed and everyone has the opportunity to do that whether it's a one-time gift or setting up a regular contribution you can do that on cslmidtown.org slash donate and um, I'm going to go over our affirmation of prosperity now as well so you can say this with me I live in a universe of abundance as I freely and joyfully give, I join in the divine flow and all that I share with life returns to me multiplied abundantly. And so it is. And there's the link and on to announcements. And it's time for everybody's favorite fun game. Announcements, announcements, announcements. Hey, stay in touch with the Center for Spiritual Living Midtown through our newsletter. Get one email a week, letting you stay informed. And please subscribe when visiting YouTube to our YouTube channel. Those subscriptions go a long, long way. And while you're on your social media, why not give us a like and a share on Facebook? Let your friends know what we're doing. Invite them to come watch our services with you. And join us on our Zoom room throughout the week. We offer a variety of Zoom interaction opportunities each and every week here as part of the Center for Spiritual Living Midtown. 10 a.m. Sunday is our discussion group around the 365 Science of Mind book. Every Sunday, 12 noon Sundays, our community fellowship immediately following our Sunday services. And 12 noon on Tuesday our online empowerment opportunity. The access room information remains the same for all of our Zoom experiences. If you need access, please visit cslmidtown.org and you'll find access information on our website. Join us on any of our Zoom opportunities throughout the week. And while you're with us, be sure to connect with one of our professional practitioners. These are folks that are highly trained to support you along your spiritual journey. You can learn more on our website about our professional practitioners. Just head over to cslmidtown.org, click on About and Practitioners. Then you'll see their bios and a way to reach them and learn a little bit more about each of them. And please send us your prayer requests. Click on the Home tab and look for Affirmative Treatment Prayer Requests. Let's fill out the form. Send it off and get our professional practitioners praying for you each and every day. All right. So thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a wonderful time for me and for all of us. And I trust for you as well. Continue to celebrate your triumphant life, your triumphant experiences of life, your triumphant thinking. As we move forward now to the close, as we're closing, I would like to, to share with you that we will be doing 
uh, some additional Facebook uh, work this week, starting the 1st of December. You can expect, not this week, but next week, you can expect to see that uh, a, a whole lot more of, of this center online at that point. We're going to be celebrating the 31 days of light and 31 expressions of light, both on Facebook and in some in our celebrations on Sunday. So I look forward to that. I invite you to join me now in our closing affirmation, which is as follows. I leave this place now knowing something better than I knew before. I go forth into the world with a heart full of love and a mind full of good sense. I look at the world in a greater way, knowing that I have within me everything I need to create the life I desire. I give thanks for this understanding, and I am grateful for the spirit of life that moves, that lives through me. And so it is. Thank you. See you next time.